Hi, I'm Frankie from DeepMeta. In this quick video tutorial, I will show for the beta testers among you how to try out the new sales statistics functionality of DeepMeta version 4. Uh, the new version will have a lot of functionality that's available online. Um, only for uploading, you'll need to install the uh, upcoming uh, Mac or uh, Windows application, but uh, the first functionality that's available does not require this, so you can just try it online. Go to the um, web address in your browser, deepmeta.creative.zone, creative without an E. Creative Zone is another project of mine, which will allow you to uh, interact with other photographers, if you like. You don't have to do it, but it's an option that we uh, hope will bring a lot of um, additional possibilities in the future. Now, to use um, Deep Meta, first of all, uh, if you haven't already, register with the platform. So I'll click the Join Now, Join Now button. And this is a, a standard registration form. So we'll just have demo uh, DM1. Uh, I'll just give this as a name. No, let's just say I use my own name, Frankie DM. Email address uh, demo1. Password, you can just accept whatever the browser is suggesting. Uh, check out the terms of service if you like and you need to agree to them. Next, you will be asked to confirm your email address, which is also quite standard. You'll get an email and you enter the verification, verification code that was given here. There you go. And then in the last step for the Creative Zone project, you'll get your own web address on the platform. So you choose a name, uh, which is pretty much the same as you have on social networks, like on Instagram. Choose a name. Uh, I'll call this And then you get to claim your own um, web address, which I will call here There you go, create the zone, and that's it. Uh, you're in on the meta. You wind up on the screen, the same screen here, which has um, menu options, has um, the roadmap. Check it out if you haven't already. Uh, there's two very informative blog posts. I advise you to read them as well. Um, the application entries um, for um, for uh, uploading your uh, sales statistics will be here uh, shortly, but at the moment, since we're only in test, they've been hidden, uh, which means that you just type in the URL yourself, uh, which is in the Meta Creative Zone. You enter uh, statements, statements. This will be in the email as well that I'm sending you, and this is um, this is the royalty statement page. It's currently empty, so what we'll do is we'll import our royalty statements. Um, I'm just going to upload all of them, um, all the ones that I have downloaded from the Getty Images uh, website. Um, if you haven't done this already, make sure that you download all your statements from there and store them in a good place because essentially those are your um, your official documents uh, from Getty regarding your sales. Um, okay, so while this is up uploading, um, we can, um, okay, so we're here. Um, so these are, so for every file, you get one entry here uh, regarding your statements. Uh, the most recent one is the, uh, the one from December. You can click on details to see all the detailed information that was uh, present um, governing this particular royalty statement. But what's more interesting is um, the statistics about it. So to view the statistics for December, for instance, uh, you click on this item in the uh, list. And then you'll see the initial implementation of statistics. Uh, this is going to expand quite a bit over the coming days and, and, and weeks. 
but that's what we have already. So there's um, there's some <clears throat> general um, distribution of uh, your sales for that month. You can see the most recent uh, sales here. Uh, downloads, um, the royalty per download and um, the royalty in total for um, for those two downloads, for instance, here. You can also see a chart uh, of the, um, the royalty that you got for this particular uh, image over the past um, 24 months, if, if of course you have uploaded that many releases. You can see the evolution of that. You can see um, the um, change um, as opposed to last month. So here you can see that this image has given me almost $10 more than it did last month. Uh, it also shows that this image is really on the way down. It, it's, for some reason, this image has sold a lot um, over the past months, but apparently this month it just went down by $30. Um, okay, so you can page through your results to, to see all the rest. Then going down, at the moment all the stats are on one page. We'll see how it goes. But I, I thought, you know, as we're more, more and more used to scrolling um, like infinite lists nowadays, it might be a good idea just to just initially put everything on one page. Here we can get a, get a more graphical um, overview of your, um, your most um, um, rewarding um, assets. Uh, you can see um, by country, apparently I'm very famous in China and Mexico for some reason. Uh, you, and then you can see some more uh, information regarding uh, US, non-US, uh, the type of product. And uh, finally, what we have at the moment is um, the past year. So those are the royalties over the past year. So you can see the most recent ones for this month. Um, that's in blue, as you can see here, the current 12 months. And overlaid in gray, you can see uh, the year before, the 12 months before, um, what the sales were for each of those months. You can see I have a high peak here, which is some custom content uh, briefs that I've been doing. So that was quite successful. Um, so that's a good tip. Um, you yeah, know, if you have some time to spare, um, it's something that could, um, could be a good source of income. Uh, royalty rates, so most of it was 20%, uh, less of it was 30%. Uh, a few more remarks. Uh, you can go back here to the statement list and then go to, uh, for instance, the month before, etc. That where you can see. Okay, so the month before this this image was still really big for me, uh, with forty eight dollars and twenty six uh, downloads. Um, a few remarks. You can only see one month at a time here. Um, I intend to uh, add some controls at the top of this page that allow you to select multiple uh, months at the same time. So you can have aggregate information on more than one month. Um, and also um, interesting to know is that both the regular sales and the, uh, the connect sales are lumped together here. Um, I personally think that connect sales are not really sales as such, because if you just look at, um, okay, so this is, um, for instance, this is um, a contract that I have for music, which is years old and which is not really um, important anymore. So if you have something similar like that and you say, okay, I don't, just don't want to see this information, don't want to have these, um, these statements um, online, you can just uh, select them and you can delete them. All right. So now we see that for 2023. Uh, in fact, you can you can also select everything and delete everything in one go if you like. Um, so for December last year, um, regular um, sales were $161 for me and connect sale sales, if you can call it that uh, was just half a dollar. Of course, um, you know, they're not really sales. Uh, you can have a lot of um, thoughts about this, but I just personally think they're not that important. They're just a little extra pocket money that Getty was able to get for us for showing our um, online content. 
Um, but the problem with these is, as you can see, is that they represent a lot of downloads, but very little royalty. Uh, so if you're going to have stats per download, they're really going to skew the results, which is why I intend to um, to make it possible to just ignore the connect uh, sales on this page. At the moment, they are lumped together. So what you see here is the uh, regular sales and the connect sales for December. Also, at the moment, uh, all the lists are mostly, not this one, here you can see downloads, but all the rest is, um, here also downloads, but the rest of the uh, controls are all just the royalties that you can see. This is one thing that I'm going to add soon as well, where you can switch between um, viewing the charts for your royalty, for your downloads, or for your uh, royalty per download. Okay. So that's it for a quick overview. I hope to come with new videos very soon that show additional um, um, application functionality. Thank you.